on the run, but Love Company's pinned down on the other side of the canal. We stay here till they hook up with us. I'd like to get over to Field Hospital and check up on Howie. Sure. Put Cage in charge. All right, thanks. Hi, Collins. On the other side of the canal. What's your rush? Look, if you really want to know, Hanley, I'm on my way to press charges against one of your NCOs. You? Which one? Your boy, Saunders. Are you serious? Lieutenant, two of my men died on that patrol this morning because of him. That's Newton and Scott. Saunders told me they died. But did he say how they died? Look, I don't know what article of war this, this mess comes under, but I'll find one, and when I do so, help me, I'll use it to skin Saunders alive. Doctor, I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for a private Howard Fokker. We got so many names right now, I can hardly remember my own. Well, uh, sir, he's with the 2nd Platoon K Company, and he was wounded early this morning out on patrol. In the chest? Machine gun? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think he's dead, Sergeant. The operating tent? The surgeon wants another look at him. Just routine, but no sweat. I feel like I'm on fire. 
Now, everything should be okay. You'll be back in England before you know it. I'm scared, Sarge. Now, listen to me. Believe me, Al, everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna... Parker. Uh, it's not so good. Oh. Well, Lieutenant wants to see you right away. It's that, uh, that O'Neill, that machine gun sergeant. Well, what about him? Well, he pressed some charges. His platoon leader, Lieutenant Collins, he says he's going to court martial you. Absolutely clear, Sergeant. I agree to see you strictly as a favor to Lieutenant Hanley. I've heard Sergeant O'Neill's story, and I believe him. Go ahead, speak your piece. Lieutenant Collins, let's remember one thing. According to the Articles of War, Sergeant Saunders doesn't have to say one word without the advice of counsel. I know that, Lieutenant Hanley. I'm willing to wait for a court-martial. You're the one who asked for this this unofficial hearing, only because I thought it would help to air the facts calmly. All right, let's air the facts calmly. Sergeant Saunders. All right, Sergeant Saunders, speak your piece. Before I do, Lieutenant, I would like to know what the charge against me is. I can't give you the exact article, but I can give you a few general headings. Negligence, poor judgment. The death of two men. The Germans killed him. You set him up. All right, I'll knock it off. If you want to fight, there's lots of crowds out there. Get back to your chair. Lieutenant Collins, since your man is making all the accusations, Let's hear his story first, in detail. Fair enough. Go ahead, Sergeant. My machine gun squad was attached to his squad for the combat patrol. We know all that. Just tell us what happened on the hill. The assault went off like clockwork. My people fired support. His people took the hill. Later, when I brought my squad up on the hill, he told me to lay my gun in on the road up front. Then he sent three of his own people out to scout up ahead.
It's a Mark IV tank. I bet my last dollar on it. Little John. Bazooka. Sarge, you don't have any ammo for it. Where is it? Parker. He was carrying it. He forgot to leave it. Now, that's great. Just great. Machine gun squad. Report it with four. Keep firing. What's the matter with you, son? Is we can't hold out against armor without a bazooka? Well, you can sit here and watch your own people get sacrificed, but I'm not going to see mine get slaughtered. Now, let's go. When I leave in this hill, I'll get the ammo. Now, that's stupid. It won't work. You're just giving cover. doing Newton and Scott. My orders were to take that hill and hold it, and that's just what I did. Two men are dead who shouldn't be dead. It could have been ten. Lieutenant, it's all his fault, huh? Uh, we just uh, forget all about the crowd tank. Is that what you're saying? Did you or did you not check to see if the bazooka ammunition was left behind when you sent your man down the hill? No, I didn't. When you went down the hill for the ammunition, did you or did you not return with it immediately? I couldn't. I had to get Parker behind cover first. So for the sake of one individual, you, you neglected all of your men. I thought I could do both. Safe Parker and get back before the tank showed. You thought wrong. You exercised poor judgment. You're dangerous, Saunders. Lieutenant, do I have to stay here for this? No. But, uh, I think you should. Lieutenant, with your permission. that.
going over to talk to the CEO. Sorry. Collins. Give me five minutes. What for? You bring your boy back? That's right. Five minutes, that's all. All right, five minutes. Use, Lieutenant. They made up their minds. You heard what Lieutenant Collins said about me, didn't you? Good judgment, negligence. And I'm dangerous. Well, Collins is just doing his job. You know, O'Neill's his man, and you're mine. Don't keep me from doing my job. Come back, Saunders. Lieutenant, there's only one thing on my mind. That's a kid at the aid station by the name of Howie Parker. Well, you can't do anything for Parker now. And if O'Neill makes those charges stick, you won't be around to later. Come back, Saunders. Saunders. Oh, wait a minute. Sir? I don't blame Sarge for walking out of here. Lieutenant, if I did what he did this morning and then heard all this, I think I'd do more than just walk. You want to know when the trouble started? Well, it wasn't on that hill. It was right here early this morning before dawn. I knew even then we was going to have some trouble. And right after you've taken the hill, dig in and form a perimeter. I'll be with the second and third squads. We can't count on direct radio communications. Be prepared on orders to move out to our next objective. Any questions? Lieutenant, I'd feel better with a bazooka team along. Well, I can't get your team, but uh, I've requisitioned a bazooka. <laughs> Lieutenant, how long will it be before my machine gun section can be detached? Oh, you'll be with us all day, Sergeant. Don't worry, I've spoken to Lieutenant Collins about it. Any more questions? All right, saddle him up. Okay, let's go. Sir. Kirby. Yes, sir? Stand by. I want you to shoot a message over to the captain. Yes, Sergeant. I've been having a lot of bad luck on patrol lately. I've taken a lot of casualties. Well, that happens. I, I mean uh, stupid casualties. See, the squad leaders that I've been attached to recently haven't been too bright. Well, you don't have to worry about Saunders. 
Maybe. But just in case things get too hot, I was wondering if the lieutenant would give me permission to uh, make decisions concerning the safety of my own men. Well, you know that's impossible. My men mean a lot to me, sir. Well, split leadership is suicide. Now, Saunders is the best NCO I've got. I hope so. Now, that was his beef, Lieutenant. He was sore right from the start, because Saunders was put in charge, that's all. And I was right, wasn't I? His stupidity cost me two men. Stupidity? The only stupid thing I saw was done by you. May I say something, sir? All right, Cage. Well, when we finally spotted the hill, Sergeant Saunders ordered Sergeant O'Neill here to place his machine gun so they could fire support. Now, Sergeant Saunders definitely told him not to open fire until we finally reach our assault position at the bottom of the hill. Does he us from the hill? We don't have any choice, do we? We're gonna have to go under it. Too big. Come make it count. Come on, stay low. Come on. It's, it's no good.
Continuez, continuez Grand-père, votre poids est détaché, attachez votre poids, descendez. Allez, allez, attachez votre poids. to the bucket. seen us but you opened fire you forced us to start our attack 50 yards too soon we could all have been killed and you call Saunders stupid after a thing like that now wait a minute maybe the Germans weren't fooled maybe they did see you before I opened fire and maybe if I hadn't every one of you would have been killed maybe 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 that's just the point O'Neill in this war there's an awful lot of maybes Sergeant O'Neill, were you right or wrong opening fire when you did? Look, sir, I don't... I don't understand what all this has to do with what happened on the hill. Well, I do. Your charge against Sergeant Saunders is poor judgment. Now, how much weight would that carry from a man guilty of the same thing himself? Sir, I'm not exactly new in the Army. I've had a lot of time in combat and I've lived. Now, maybe that was luck. Or maybe it's because I've made a study of war. Even when I was a kid, I've read about every book I get my hands on about war. And I've learned one thing. Never underestimate your enemy. Meaning? Meaning I saw sunlight reflecting on a pair of field glasses. German field glasses. And that was good enough for me. Now, you were positive the uh, crowd saw the men in the ditch, then? And they must have. But you weren't sure? Of course I'm sure. How could you be sure? Because, sir, the crowds are not stupid. Lieutenant Collins, how can I get a straight answer out of this man? I haven't heard Sergeant Saunders give any answers so far. Were you right or wrong, O'Neill? We took the hill, sir, without a single casualty. I think that's a pretty fair answer. Not to me. What do you say, Saunders? Was O'Neill right or wrong? Lieutenant, I didn't come back to Judge Sergeant O'Neill. I came back to tell my side of it. That is, Lieutenant Collins is still interested. 
I'm still interested. After O'Neill opened up, we had no choice. We couldn't stay in the ditch, we couldn't retreat, we were committed to take the hill. We had to do it the hard way, we got to go straight up the face of it. After the crowds took off, I signaled to O'Neill to bring his machine gun squad forward. It's taking him so long. He must have seen your smoke signal. Dig in deep. Crazy, Saunders. You men, lay your guns in on that road down there. We're gonna cover that road from where we were. We're counterattack with one all our firepower right up here. If you get forced off this hill, you can wish you had something to your rear. First rule of a good defense: strength and depth. This is the only ever since we start, all you've done is to complain. Well, I've had it, you got it? Now, you put your guns over there and dig them in. What's the matter with that guy? Who knows? You want me to go down there and check around? Yeah, take Parker and Kirby. Kirby? Parker? It's a Mark IV tank. I bet my last dollar on it. Little John, the Zucker. Sarge, you don't have any ammo for it. Where is it? Parker was carrying it. And he forgot to. He forgot to leave it. And that's great. Machine gun section, prepare to withdraw. Stay there. What's the matter with you? We can't hold out against armor without a bazooka. Now look, Saunders, you can sit here and sacrifice your own people, but I'm not going to see mine get slaughtered. Now, come on, let's go. We're not leaving this hill. I'll get the ammo. That's crazy. It won't work. Now, you just give me cover.
That's right. And I told him it would never work. That's where he made his mistake. What did you expect him to do? The only way to beat that tank was to get the ammo. Now, what else could he have done? Pull back into the woods, sir. The crowd tank could never have touched us there. But no, he had to be a hero. And that's what cost the lives of two of my men. sides of the story? Of course, Hanley. O'Neill. I'm sorry, sir. But every time I think back to this morning when Newton and Scott were still alive, I... All right, go ahead, tell your story. Like I said, I told Sergeant O'Neill we weren't leaving the hill that we were staying. I was going to get the ammo. I figured I still had time. You're going to be all right, Holly. Oh, God, I heard... Where are we? You said that I was negligent because I let Parker leave with the ammo when I shouldn't have. Everybody here knows that you got to be lucky if you get half the job done in combat. Lieutenant, if you want me for that one, you can have me. I accept the blame. But not the rest of it. I wasn't part of it. You said that if I didn't take the time to try to save Parker, your men would still be alive. You sure of that? We stopped that tank with one bazooka round one. Even if we had the ammo in that tank showed, it may have taken five or ten. Maybe we never would have gotten. And, and O'Neill, that is fate, not judgment. I'll tell you something else. 
When I was a kid, I didn't read about the war. It's the furthest thing from my mind. And yet here I am, a sergeant. And I have a responsibility to a squad of men, and I'll tell you something else. I'm going to keep them. I guess it's up to you, O'Neill. Sorry, Sergeant. Lieutenant. I'm going to drop the charges. Okay. Why? I said why, O'Neill? Why you change your mind? Because Howie Parker's dead? Huh? Up to one minute ago, you saw this man, a kid by the name of Parker, against you and two of your men that are now dead. And you blame me for it. What happened? You feel sorry for me now? Is that why you want to let me off the hook? Maybe. Well, it won't work, because I won't accept it. You hear me? I won't accept it, because I would do it again and again and again. And I would do it for another Parker. I would do it for a Kirby. I would do it for Cage. I'd do it for you. Your squad of mine, it makes no difference. As long as it wears this uniform. Saunders. No charges. No charges, not because Parker's dead, but because of you. He might have lived. shoots at you. You don't have a command anymore. You got a family. Buy a drink, Owens. <laughs> 